All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to put the numbers in and um, who's on your slide and then show you how to do the transitions. We've got our music in. When you shortened your music in video three, what it did was it actually just, it does stop right here, but if you need more music, you can always pull it out and the song will keep going. So that's just something to, to just kind of keep in the back of your mind. So now what we need to do is like these, um, the intro slide and your final slide, We've got these layers here. We've got video one, video two, video three, and we're going to put other images on these layers that will play over these pictures that you did. The most important thing, though, is to do is to move your little whammy bar. And you can kind of hear my music there. Um, in front of the picture that you want to put the number and the wording on. So here is our picture of uh, Olympic swimmer Amy Van Dyken, and so she's going to be my number 10. Remember, you're starting with number 10 and counting your way down to number 1. If this is not over the slide that you're going to work on, it's going to be kind of impossible to see where you're going to put the layout. So we're going to go to Title, we're going to go to New, we're going to go to Default Still, and we'll hit OK. And you can see right here, um, that picture is going to pop up. What I'm going to do though is I'm actually going to close this real quickly and I'm going to put in number 10 because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to type in number 10 and that way it keeps me nice and organized. And now I'm going to click and drag that right over the top and I'm going to edit it. Okay, and I'm going to go to my text tool and I'm going to pick a good spot to put my number 10 and then just like I did in video two, I'm going to use, I'll probably use um, one of these fonts down here with a shadow on it. I'll just pick this one real quickly. All right. And if it's too big or too small, again, the same thing that you know how to use. Okay. Put it right there. All right. So that's your number 10 and then you're done. And if you move this back, and we watch play and we watch up here. Okay, my number 10 shows up. There's no transitions on it yet. We'll get fancy in a little bit. Now what I want to do though is I want her name to appear above here so I know who this is or so people watching this video know who this is. So I'm going to go back to title and I'm going to go to default still. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to close this and I'm going to put in her name. Okay. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it right on top of there. So now um, when I double click on this, I can see the number 10, but it, that's in, that's in a video number two. I'm actually in video number three layer now. So I'm going to go ahead and put her name in. I'm going to go here. I'm going to make the font smaller. I'm going to move it to where I want. And then I'm going to pick a font or something that and again, I could spend a lot longer on choosing the right font, but I just want to show you guys this. And there we go. Okay. So right now, it's not going to be that interesting because it's going to play both of them at the same time. Just like that. Okay. And what I would like for you guys to do is I would like for you guys to actually go ahead and do your 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all the way down to 1, and then label them all in the video. And then when you get all that done, then the fun part starts. And I'm not going to waste my time showing you how to do that with all the 10 through 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the transitions um, on uh, just number 10. I want the number 10 to fly in or come in before the Amy um, Van Dyken. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this. I'm going to left click and I'm just going to drag it in a little bit. And if this is too small, remember there's that the thing, I can't get to it right now, that can expand this, the little mountain looking thing, the little zoom out and zoom in. And then I'm going to shorten this a little bit so that then you can watch this. So just like this. Okay, so now at least it's here, 10, and then her name popped up. And you're, you're going to be deciding how long you want this to show. I mean, that's going to all come down to you guys. But now what I can put on number 10 and my first kiddo here, my girl, or Olympian, um, is it's going to say video transitions and these are kind of like slide transitions in um, PowerPoint but there's a lot of neat ones 
Um, and so you kind of have to go through them. Some are going to work better than others. And so you really have to just grab one, left click, put it on the front. We'll do this one on the back. I have no idea what this is doing right now. So I'll put one on there. I'm going to put one on here. Okay. And if they go too fast, you can always, you see that little red box? You can always stretch them and make them shorter and longer. So we'll click on I. So now it zoomed in. Her name came in. And now it takes it right out. Much better. And then it would go right into my next person and my next person. So you're going to repeat that. Again, remember though, you have all these different transitions here. Go around with them, have some fun with them, and make sure they work. Some work better than others. All right, sounds good.